Nostalgia often overshadows the march into the future, but growth never stops. The driving need for energy, whether it is fuel or food, dictates the pattern of modern life in urban areas. A life which is complicated with problems of survival, commuting and pollution. Air pollution is one of the issues of major concern today, especially in India, where population growth and urbanization compound every environmental problem. Pollution monitoring stations are part of a national effort to monitor air quality in critical areas of the country. Industries like power generating units the domestic use of fuel and vehicular traffic pollute an entire city. But vehicles are often the single most significant source of air pollution in urban areas. Dust and gases like oxides of nitrogen, sulfur and carbon are monitored every day. While such data is still being fully analyzed and understood, not enough is being done to study the environmental impact on public health. The problem of the effects of lead in the environment has not received due attention, but people are beginning to suffer the impact of polluted cities. Breathe in quickly. <laughs> Lung and heart-related disorders are indicated to be on the increase. Though research in this field is inadequate, pollution is sufficiently high to cause concern. Unfortunately, exposure to air pollution is now an inescapable part of urban life. But more unfortunately, pollution in cities like Delhi, Bombay, Calcutta and others usually exceeds standards set down by monitoring agencies. If vehicular traffic is often considered the single most polluting factor, then the need for mass transit systems becomes important. Millions of dollars were invested on designing internal combustion engines during the world wars. The very same engines with modifications are used in cars, buses and trucks all over the world, even today. Much noise is made about modifications on these age-old engines, but no money is being invested to design a new, more efficient automobile engine. Today, the best high-tech cars boast of a mere 28% fuel efficiency. In a developing country, where investment comes dear, old cars with old engines probably barely have 18% efficiency. Governmental and individual consciousness has been awakened. But air pollution monitoring or ineffective legislation cannot control this stupendous encroachment on the atmosphere. the dent on the urban air pollution is not yet visible. Ultimately, the urbanite remains baffled. 